Gemini. What's goody in the hoodie? Do you live in the hood? You're from the hood? Or are you just for that hood life? <laughs> okay, let's see. Gemini. You guys are always into something. Or are you dealing with little hood rats? Let's see. What's going on? Gemini, only take what resonates, leave the rest, don't make it fit, if it doesn't fit, know that roles can be reversed, I say it's you, it could be a person, take a deep breath, and release, and know that roles can be reversed, I say it's you, it could be them, and I did talk, a little filthy, so if you get offended, just find your way out of the read, come again another day book on my website, rootsofrewards.com, description box below, I'll tell you all the details. <coughs> okay, <clears throat> so <clears throat> there could be a little bit of a communication issue. I inhale or you're just smoking way too much. You need to cut back on your smoking. It's fucking your shit up. All right. I gotta clear out your uh, throat shock. All right. So, uh, Geminis, you may have a Leo around you that is wanting to give you some uh, communication. This person speaks very clearly to you. Gemini, what's going on with the Geminis? Gemini Collective. Gemini. So, Queen of Swords, Libra Gemini Aquarius. You are setting up boundaries. You're using your intuition. And uh, you are coming out of some type of rejection or not feeling good enough, drowning in your thoughts and your feelings, and you're going towards the wheel of fortune. So there's some kind of behavior change here. You're changing behavior, changing patterns. You are bringing, you're, you're pulling yourself out of disappointment. centering the read right now is the wheel of fortune so that is good uh you may have felt like you were uh, unraveling here unraveling somebody may crochet or you are needing to get some type of uh, protection bracelet like red yarn and bless it and throw it on your wrist left arm connects closest to the heart closest to divine so I've heard so you are going towards loving yourself emotionally investing in yourself new emotional beginnings you could be single right now Gemini you could be single you could be deciding I want to be single fuck this immature love offers or unavailable love like people that are unavailable to me fuck this you know, feeling rejected by someone else. Somebody might have purple hair. Somebody's just wicked in their energy. Uh, high Priestess energy, Pisces energy, Wheel of Fortune with Pisces energy. So, Gemini, you could be connecting with someone that has a name with a J, a B, a P, H, or T. Five of Cups, Gemini, Hangman, and more Pisces energy here. So you could be getting unstuck with a Pisces that made you feel really disappointed. The person may have made you sad, you may have arguments with this person, uh, but you're not going to be stuck in it anymore. This person may be coming back in to fill into you emotionally to give you a new emotional restart let's see because that 
Pisces is strong with the High Priestess and the Hangman side by side. One upright and one in reverse. Ace of Cups. What's this Ace of Cups? Somebody is going to be lowering their defense. They, they uh, come off. They get very triggered. This person gets very triggered and very up in their emotions and then they lash out. And you probably set your boundaries with this person and said, you know what? I'd rather be fucking single than deal with your fucking ass. Right? Um, yeah, there was some type of tower moments. So somebody wants to heal from the tower moments. They don't want this connection to completely crumble and dust out. Whose read did I just do that it was dust? Could be connecting with an Aquarius. Check out Aquarius. If it comes out, let's see. Uh, the Five of Cups, no, we're not taking emotional, uh, emotionally unavailable people or emotionally immature people. And no, you're not going to leave me out. Uh, you're not going to leave me out or make me battle for your time and attention. There's maybe you have a lot of people around you, Gemini. And this person is just like, looking at you like, it's so hard. It's so hard to be with you when there's so many people around you. Somebody is like just immature. They're possibly a younger water sign, and they're just like you give other people time and attention. You don't give me enough time and attention. So somebody's wanting more time and attention with you, more solo time, and not being around groups of people with you. They want you, know, you know, just you. Wheel of Fortune, uh, Gemini, and the High Priestess. Who's this? Uh, that. So somebody's changing behavior, whether that's you or them. Yeah, somebody wants you to, or you want this person to be less held back and open up, not be so greedy with your time and attention with them. So somebody's changing their greed, their way of being greedy and selfish. Somebody's been selfish here, just thinking for themselves. They were in a lot of decision, and this person is trying to manifest you at this point. Pisces. Yeah. So this person is trying to manifest better for you and to leap into you. Aquarius energy. All right, so we do have Aries and Aquarius out here, so you may want to watch that read. Um, someone's, you were looking at this person like you're a fool or... Somebody understands that they were a fool with the chaos that they brought you, okay? They understand now what they were doing, where you now understand what you were doing, gentlemen. So five of wands, too many, too many people. This person was jealous that you have so many people around you. Four of cups and the star card, more Aquarius energy. So if healing, healing from battling with, battling making you battle or battling over you, coming out of um, greed and coming out of like being bored. Maybe you don't do enough with this person. They wanna go places, you don't wanna go places. They want time with you, you don't give them time. You always have to hang out with other people and them. Uh, Ace of Wands, they want you to show more passion towards them. New passion at beginning. They want you to be excited for them. Show them that you're excited for them. of wands they want you to emotionally invest in them more instead of burdening them and putting heaviness on them so they want to come out of feeling uh putting burden on you and heaviness on you it keeps flip flip flopping because i really don't know if this is you or you you guys you people maybe it's a mix uh two of pentacles not being, being wishy-washy like making a choice giving some type of stability to one another the hermit come out of uh, introspection or just maybe you've been single for a while and you're just like I don't know how to have a relationship I don't know really what this person wants you're used to hanging out with your buddies and your friends all the time and now this person comes along and they want your time and you weren't getting it so 
somebody felt like they had to compete with someone here, but they're wanting to celebrate with you. This person could have short, short blonde hair and bluish, bluish hazel eyes. Very pale skin. Very pale. Emperor Aries. Person has their eyes on you. Could be very strong. You could have a. Uh, well, this person has uh, a full beard. Could be Italian, some type of European lad over here. All right, what's going on with uh, Gemini and their people? Gemini. This girl, somebody's given the bedroom eyes. I feel like somebody may be drugged up too here. I don't know. This could be Six of Cups in reverse. Hangman, Pisces energy. What the fuck? Something maybe drinking too much bubbly. Drinking too much. Someone's uh, addictions are, are stopping uh, growth here. Somebody's stuck in their addictions. I'm not sure if this is a different person, but it is Pisces, so maybe somebody was sitting in addictions. Now they bring stability. Yeah, now they bring stability. King of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person wasn't uh, balanced emotionally, so they were drinking their worries away. Uh, but now they come to bring security and stability. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They uh, like, I see value in you. I want to invest. I want to make this secure and stable. There's... Um, Dream catcher. So you may have a dream catcher by his bed. Ace of Cups. See, new emotional beginning. You have that out here twice, traveling in. Traveling in to give you love energy, this person. They got a whole, they, they're overflowing. They're overflowing with love energy. This person is real wet, real hard for you. Hot rod. The hot rod. See, wet. <laughs> boink, boink. <laughs> boink, boink. <laughs> I crack my jaw. <laughs> Somebody wants you to slide it on in. Slide it in. This person wants to reciprocate. Oh my god, my mouth is just watering now. King of Wands, Leo Aries, Sage. They want to grow with you. They want to nurture you. They want to grow legacy with you. We have a fortune. They're bringing a fortune. They're bringing abundance. They're traveling in fast, fast, fast. They got a whole lot of love energy. They could be hiding how much love energy that they have for you. But like I said, this person is not going to withhold from you. They're not going to leave you in lack. They're not going to have you begging for their time and attention. This person comes hot and heavy for you. This is the emperor. Somebody may like to show their ass off. Let's see what this person would like to say that they're unable to. I'm gonna grab my Love Me, Love Me Not Oracle deck. I do have two different Oracle decks available for you guys. There's the Sexy Time, the Oracle deck. These both are Twin Flame inspired. And then there is Love Me, Love Me Not. One is sexual and emotional, and one is what your person would like to say that they're unable to. And these are 40 on my website. Someone's not coming in to reject you. I don't know where the hell that card came from, but they're not coming in to reject you. 
they're here to touch your heart a little bit. <laughs> and you're on the carriage. I dream about you. So this person may tell you that they've had dreams about you or they're dreaming about you. I want to leap towards you. They want you. I'm sorry, he's in reverse. So this could be a newer person that you don't have anything with. You deserve better or that's your past person saying, I'm sorry, I know you deserve better and please forgive me. So somebody is coming in with an apology. So maybe they were, yeah, maybe they were leaving you out. They're leaving you out and choosing everything um, to show time and attention and love to and wasn't showing it to you. So they know. I let my ego get in the way. They know. You were good to me. They know what you what you mean to them. Alright. Now let's do sexy time. Sexual and emotional dynamic between you and this person. Gemini. A lot of young energy here. Masculine energy is digging you. And they're wanting to do cuddle time with you. So this person is saying, I dig you. Let's go cuddle. Let's get together. A lot of masculine energy here. Whip me. I like it with the lights off. So somebody's wanting to dim the lights and just whip you. You to whip them. They're going to make some intimate settings for you. This person. More. All white. I'll wrap my hands around your neck with love. So this person loves you, but you could, they could want to strangle you. They love you so much, but they could fucking strangle you too. Oh, finally, yeah, choke me. <laughs> I'll wrap my hands around your neck with love. You may like to be choked out as you orgasm or this person. Your pussy's so soft. You could have dibble dabbled with the same sex too, bisexual here. And that's what I got. Somebody may be coming out of Playboy, Playgirl energy. That's good to see. Let's see. Let's see, Gemini, what's going down? Oh, my back hurts. Treasure Island. So you could be making your way to a very hot island in September. It's been turtle pace, maybe since you've had a vacation. You're cleaning it up, 21. Enchanted gifts are coming your way. This person's bringing you gifts and they're thinking about you and they're chopping wood. So they're really heavily thinking about you and they're yanking the wood. <laughs> They yank in the water, you know, stroking on the beam. All right. That's fun. Somebody may like the ballet. I want to take this off. I feel like I'm just suffocating. So, yeah, maybe you've been single for so long that you felt like you were suffocating. Or this person felt like they were suffocating by by you like the time that you wanted to spend with them they just didn't know what to do with it <sighs> okay what's the guidance blame putting a blame on each other maybe and fearing the connection mm -hmm. perseverance so you're you're moving away from uh, putting blame on this person or them putting blame on you. You could have a birthday today or on the 23rd and being very honest with each other. So that's good to see. There's a lot of honesty coming in with that. Yeah, with that ace of swords here. That clear intention, clear communication. Chakra healing intention candles. Not candles, but... Let's see what chakra you need to work on. And again, there's Leo energy, lion energy. You're needing to listen to your intuition. 
uh, you're gonna get your knowing, you're sensing that some good shit's coming in and you're gonna trust. You're gonna trust yourself and your inner child. So there's a lot of solar plexus. So if you're needing your solar plexus candle lit, I could do that for you. Um, it's five dollars for one or twenty five for the full alignment. I send you a meditation. They burn for six hours. I light them. I bless them, and I send good intention over to you. Um, but you're needing to maybe be more childlike with this person. Play more. You know, play more in your own energy, or play more with this person. This person is wanting a little more play time. They're coming in very strong for you, very protective, very supportive of you. Um, I think they are coming in childlike. They're wanting you to loosen up and be more childlike with them and not so strong and, and stone cold maybe. They want to make a home with you. They want to become rooted with you. They want to rest. They want to be nestled by you. Shelter, safety, nurturing, and warmth. That's what they're wanting from you. So you're needing to get your solar plexus cleansed out a little bit and your root chakra may help you persevere forward. And that's what I have. I am live every Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time over here on YouTube and TikTok, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray. They really want to whip you. <laughs> they may want to whip you in shape. Um, TikTok, Roots and Rewards, Jesse Ray, Roots and Rewards, Jesse. Follow me on all outlets. The more places you follow, the easier it is for me to um, get the best guidance pos possible for you guys. Roots and Rewards on Instagram. And uh, yeah, if you want a book, everything's in the description box below. And if you want to see different cards, you could purchase new cards for me because I'm getting bored of these cards. Uh, I have an Amazon wish list and link tree link below uh it's much appreciated and yeah that's it next up is libra keep yourselves in high regard i'll see you again next week and i'll see you live on thursday bye guys